Hello everyone and welcome back to Strife Solutions. I am of course William Strife and this is Yogscast Complete or Yog Pack, a special version of modded Minecraft that we the Yogscast are using to play through modded Minecraft once again. And if you want to play along you can go ahead and check the description for a link for how to go about downloading the mod pack off of the AT launcher where it is distributed. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, get right into this week's episode. Well, not this week's, but uh, this episode. Uh, this is what I built last time around. This is my big, fancy, complicated manual sorting system because I'm not getting involved in uh, applied energistics because, uh, as I stated in the last episode, applied energistics basically gives... Uh, it allows you to, to condense an entire big complicated facility down into a tiny shack, so uh, not something that I'm a big fan of. Now, uh, this week's episode, uh, there's a lot to get done, and it involves uh, ore uh, quadrupling, where I get four ingots out of one single um, ore. Uh, you can see that I, uh, I did some upgrades to the base. I put this uh, concrete from the chisel mod, which makes me run faster around the entire facility. And I also completed the uh, north platform, uh, which is part of the business park. And uh, this, this platform is going to get filled up quite a bit in the long run. But right now, all it has on this is this fancy uh, rig. It's just... It's absolutely spartan right now. There's nothing on it. It's composed of uh, gray metal platforms, uh, which is just uh, metal platforms from the... Railcraft mod and I used uh, aluminum blocks to uh, build the frame. Uh, I used aluminum because the, I don't think that there's a whole lot of use for this material in uh, most of the mods. Um, I also uh, used some fancy cobblestone brick uh, bricks from Chisel. Uh, tried to make it look a, a little bit beaten up. And I've also got all of these pits here. Uh, so the reason why this is here is because I'm going to need to build a series of multi-block structures known as uh, salination plants, and I'm going to need to build a large multi-block tank in the middle to store what is known as brine, which is what they uh, produce. And uh, they produce brine, uh, brine is the uh, the cornerstone. It is the starting point for what is basically uh, chemical ore processing in mechanism. Um, uh, times four is actually not the highest efficiency that you can get out of um, ores in mechanism, but it is, uh, it's getting pretty high up there, and in order to do it, you have to manufacture brine. But in order to do that, I need to create dynamic tanks. Uh, I need to make salination plants, not tanks, uh, I miswrote that. Salination tank, uh, plants. Um, I'm going to have to create advanced solar generators to uh, finish off the salination plants. And um, in order to actually engage in uh, ore quadrupling, I need to create what's known as a chemical injection chamber and a chemical infuser because I'm going to have to be uh, separating out the brine and um, recombining it to create a new and different um, material or uh, chemical. So uh, without further ado, let's get right to this because there's a whole lot of crafting that I have to get um, sorted out. Right off the bat, in order to make the uh, dynamic tanks, I believe... What I'm going to need are uh, a series of tank blocks, tank glass, and tank valves. So, the dynamic tank blocks are just cobblestone surrounded by steel. Um, the dynamic glass is just glass surrounded by steel. And the dynamic valve is a control circuit surrounded by steel, and you get two. As where with the glass, you get eight. And uh, the tank blocks, you get eight. So, um, I'm going to make a series of these uh, very, very quickly here. Okay, and here we go, just a little bit more, and I'll have the tank valves to... I think I only need five, but six will do it just fine. Uh, okay, so there we go. I, I should have pretty much all of the dynamic tank blocks and uh, glass and valves that I need. Next up um, is to create what I need to manufacture the... well, build the salination tanks. So salination tanks are composed of three primary components, uh, salination valves, salination controllers, and um, these salination blocks. So the salination blocks are just a dynamic tank surrounded by copper. And uh, the valve is two dynamic valves, a steel casing, a couple of control circuits, and some copper. And uh, salination control blocks are block of copper, steel casings, control circuits, and glass panes. So uh, let's start off with the salination controllers. Okay, so I'm going to need four of these uh, salination controllers, and I should have everything in my inventory. Okay, one, two, three, four, because I'm going to create four salination uh, plants. Uh, in addition, I'm going to need, ooh, let's see, how many is it gonna be? 
shift click and uh, there we go we've got 12 salination valves now all that's left for me to do is to create a ton of these uh, salination blocks but uh, before I go about doing that I think what I'm gonna do is uh, open this baby up and pop away all of the controllers and dynamic valves and tanks and glass and everything that I have so I don't get anything mixed up and here we go guys, I have actually blasted through every last bit of copper that I've got my hands on and this is all that I've managed. Um, I'm pretty sure that I didn't miscalculate, but if I did, I've got so many freaking uh, additional tank, dynamic tank blocks that I don't even know what to do with them all. Ah, okay, uh, nearly forgot, I, I'm also going to need uh, advanced solar generators for persalination uh, plant to uh, complete the multi-block structures. So in all, I'm going to need 16 of these babies in order to uh, build the salination plants. And I need to create four small solar generators per advanced solar generator. So uh, I'm also going to need enriched alloy and iron. And actually, I hope I have enough iron on me uh, because I have absolutely sapped myself of, look at this, this is all the iron that I have left. There's nothing else in this chest to uh, supplement me because I have been just absolutely crazy on this stuff and I don't have a way to teleport power around the map yet in my digital miner. Oh my god. Uh, I'm running low on resources. That's pretty much what it comes down to. So let's uh, let's move forward. Go ahead and uh, create these sm small solar generators. And first of all, I've got to make 16 of these energy tablets. Okay, here we go. 16 solar panels across the top. I'm going to have to do the uh, herpty derp back and forth to create the rest of these. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's iron in the middle, and I'm gonna need some more osmium to complete this. Oh no, wait, it looks like I have just enough. Go ahead and do that. And uh, I'm gonna have to keep doing this back and forth for uh, all of these energy tablets, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so once again, math bites me in the ass, and it turns out that I miscalculated. I only made four advanced solar generators, but these things are super expensive to create, as it turns out, and I don't know that I have all of the resources necessary to completely make as many as I need. So right now, I'm only going to be able to create one salination plant. That being said, that's a good place to start. So uh, with the advanced solar generators complete, I can go ahead and hop out to the uh, platform and show you guys how to actually build one of these babies. Okay, so first thing is first. Before I even build a salination plant, I'm going to need a tank to put the uh, brine that it manufactures into. So to start off with, I'm going to go ahead and build myself a multi-block dynamic tank from the mechanism mod. Okay, so here we go. The dynamic tank is almost done. And the basic way that these things work is that the edges, just the same as a uh, multi-block reactor from the big reactors mod, the frame has to be made out of the tank blocks and the uh, faces can be made out of the dynamic glass. So I should have just barely enough glass to finish this with all of the valves in place. Um, I need a valve in basically all of the top corners. And fingers crossed, whenever I finish this, it should snap too. There you go, you got the uh, the giant red effect. Now if I click on the tank, I have the information that it has no fluid in it. However, it can hold 125 buckets of fluid. Now granted, this is far from the largest of all uh, tanks ever created, or uh, which I will ever create uh, within this mod pack. However, it, uh, it is a good starting place. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, adjust this just a tiny bit really quickly. There we go. Now I've got a place to uh, put the drum, which is everything else, uh, everything is gonna come out of. And um, it, there you go, your dynamic tank is complete. Looks pretty nifty. Um, it's a nice centerpiece for the entire platform. Okay, so now to put a salination plant in place. To do this, I'm going to need to do a couple of things. First and foremost, I'm gonna have to uh, build the thing and as a multi-block structure, the salination plant is a little bit picky about how it has to be designed. Quite simply put, it has a maximum height of 18 blocks. And then the lowest most layer has to be this, a four by four uh, slab of these salination blocks. Then you have to create a large ring around like this of salination blocks in the middle. And then there's a completely different configuration for the topmost layer. So the bottommost layer is specific, the topmost layer is specific, and all of the layers in between have to be like this, but you also have to include salination valves. Now, luckily, I have a builder's wand, that's this wonderful piece of equipment that I picked up from the quarry. I'll go ahead and just continue building this thing. 
Okay, so here we are. The salination tank is almost all the way up to the sky, uh, up to the top of the platform, but I want to be very, very specific about something here. Uh, I have to put valves in, and the valves that I want to put in, uh, they're going to run out uh, over to this tank right here. So I need a valve coming out right over here, but I'm also going to want two valves right over here as well to connect uh, some reservoirs to, because you need to supply water to these things. So two valves right there and then go ahead and put a couple more salination blocks on top of that there we go next gonna have to pop up to the top almost go ahead and do this little trick put another valve in right there close it up and now to just finish up the build like so by closing it up the rest of the way. And now we're up to the top of the salination plant. This is where things are going to get slightly more complicated. So these salination plants require a control block right uh, in one of the final sp spaces, but also the corners have to be empty on the top layer like so. And once that's done, you have to place the four solar generators, advanced solar generators, up on the top of the salination plant. It's not until you finish, like so, that the entire thing is in place and it's ready to go. So here we go. Now once everything is complete and it's built up, uh, 16 block, uh, 18 blocks in total from the top layer to the bottom layer is the maximum that it can be. It has to be a minimum of three layers because it needs the top, the bottom, and the middle layer. But the middle layers can uh, stretch up to 16 blocks in total, and um, including the top and the bottom, you end up with 18. So once you have the entire structure complete, you go in here and you click this button, Salination Plant. And there you go, it says structured. If it doesn't say structured right here, it means that something went wrong, okay? So something else that I wanna get into is that this thing has a multiplier right here. The multiplier is directly tied to what time of day it is because this is solar generated. You cannot get this thing to work by pumping power into it. You have to have it uh, be daytime for it to work. And the multiplier is also directly tied to the biome that you are in. Uh, I believe the the multiplier that I'm going to get in the auto uh, seasonal autumn forest here is going to be 0.7 so not even 100 percent efficiency which is the reason why i want four of these babies built up in the entirety of this platform obviously i'm going to need lots more uh, resources to do that though so um i'm gonna get a 0.7 multiplier uh in if you are in a i believe it is a dunes biome from biomes of plenty which is uh the mod that adds in this autumn forest if you are in a dunes biome you can get a two times multiplier. Um, if you are in a snowy biome, any sort of cold biome, this will not work at all. And it will, and this salination plant will not produce brine whatsoever. Hooey. Okay, so here I am. Nice, bright, cheery morning. Let's hope that this is actually working now. And this salination plant here is uh, actually producing brine for me. All I have to do is, oh, do you hear that? I don't know, it, it, it might, you might not end up in the video, but I do hear noise, which means that this thing is working and it is producing brine. But um, as you can see, it's filling up and it's instantaneously emptying. And like I said, I do have a multiplier of 0.7. Um, so my situation right now is that this baby is, uh, there you go, it's outputting brine and it's filling up into the tank ever so slowly. Keep in mind that this is millibuckets and it takes a thousand buckets to uh, make one full bucket. So this is moving at a pretty slow pace. So there you go. That's uh, the salination plant covered as well as the dynamic tank covered in addition. And um, this platform, I'm going to have to do a whole lot more work and mining to be able to get enough copper to build more of these things for uh, proper ore processing. But right now, I'm basically going to end up playing a waiting game for this thing to produce enough brine for me to uh, make use of. And in the next episode, guys, in the next episode, I promise we will actually get to actual, honest to God, or, uh, or quadrupling and 4X uh, or processing. But until then, I am William Strife of Strife Solutions, and things are looking up here at the Solution Business Park. I'll see you guys later. Bye.